Hello, Hateless Gaming, uh, bringing you my initial reaction and thoughts on compression. Uh, without further ado, let's just get into it. Uh, so today we got a Hulk. He's going to mine something, and we're going to try compressing. And then we got an Arca for the compression. So we're going to check it out. We're going to see how it functions. I'm going to try and understand it a little bit better. And we'll see how it goes. Uh, but this is a max yield Hulk, so we'll quickly fill up the bay. And uh, we'll be to it. Is this belt already mined out? Oh, shit. That's a thing. Uh, maybe I should run a scout. Uh, anyways, we'll just go to the second one. Astro belt 2, work within 0. You can still stop. All right. Let's go find something to mine. <laughs> I thought that there'd be ore in the first belt. There is not. I guess a lot of people are, are excited to be mining today. Maybe I'll find the uh, people that are mining here. We'll see how it goes. Do, do, do. Anyways, uh, compression allows you to compress rocks while you're in space. And that in itself is pretty uh, exciting. Uh, so, we got some rocks. Let's do some mining. Um, are any of the rocks in range? That one is. That one is. I think I got a 20 kilometer range. All right, we'll just go ahead and get some ore here. And uh, we are still waiting on our Orca buddy because, you know, Orcas are definitely fast ships. <laughs> I love my Orca, but it is not fast. Um, so we'll go ahead and wait for that guy to get here. In the meantime, we're going to uh, mine some rocks. Uh, I don't see anything regarding compression here immediately, uh, but I'm sure as soon as we get rocks, we'll probably get a button. Uh, compresses there. That uh, looks like no active uh, ship in your fleet can compress. Uh, so no ship in your fleet has the active module to compress. So if you try and compress, uh, it won't do it. But you do get a nice little window. Uh, anyways, our compression ship has arrived. And we'll go ahead and... Uh, so one thing to note, you cannot do compression without sieging. Sieging requires you to sit still for five minutes. Uh, this is true for the porpoise as well as the orca. Uh, that is one thing that I read in the... Uh, not the notes, but the initial thing. But you can't activate this without activating this. Uh, so we'll go ahead and activate those. We'll go ahead and also throw up our command burst. And we'll go back to our mining ship here. Uh, it looks like we can hit a compress button. Uh, this is the big question for me. Uh, if I mine more ore, does this populate? This is the big one for me. Because I don't know if I want to have this compress, and compress button open. Like this. Uh, so we'll go ahead and see what happens. It uh, looks like it does populate. Does it populate if I mine a different ore? So let's see here. Turn those on for a minute. And again, our ship already... We've already mined 4,003. This thing does not mine slow. Uh, anyways, so we got 5,003. Uh, it looks like it did not populate the different material. Uh, which would lead me to add compress, and then I got that. Um, if I compress this, right, and we get there, and then we mine these two, are we going to get more and then be able to compress again, or do I have to open the window again? These are the these are the real questions. How how specific can you get? Because it looks like you can compress as little or as much as you want. Uh, so this doesn't auto repopulate. I am going to have to hit compress again. Uh, but we can compress there. Look at that. We just compressed all that ore that we mined in 63 M3. Um, which is kind of nice. As an individual miner, this is amazing. Um, but when you start talking about multiboxing and doing it uh, with many accounts, uh, which is the mindset or the... the um, perspective that I'm looking at it from. How easy is this to multi-box compressing? Because uh, is it easier for me to go like this and open up the fleet hanger and then just drop this ore in here rather than compress it? Because if I do that, then it's worth it for me to stay close. And that's the thing. But if I'm flying in a Mackinac, I can press once every, you know, five minutes. Uh, we'll, we'll see how it works. Anyways, let's go ahead and see what happens when we go to compress this guy. Will it include all the ore? No, it just includes that kind of ore. 
Uh, so we would need to add that. And if I'm continuing to mine this, you have to right click and compress on each individual ore. So if you're mining the same ore, you can right click on it and continue. So if I mine this ore a little bit, uh, it will add that to the compression, uh, but it won't add a new type of ore. So this is concentrated, not dense. Uh, it won't add a new type of ore to the input materials without you actually right clicking on it, uh, which is interesting. Um, so it might be better in my circumstance to just drag it into the Orca and then go to the Orca and then from the fleet hanger, select all, compress. Let's, let's go ahead and stick this in the Orca. And then we select all and then compress every now and then, and then it'll compress it all. Um, which is okay. That went into 122 M3. And then I believe this can go into the mining hold and the Orca can hold a insane amount of ore. Uh, I believe we can also compress ore in different ships aside from regular uh, mining, aside from mining ships as Looks like you just right click and compress it when it's in your cargo. Uh, my understanding is that any ship within the range can do it. Um, and that's kind of how it seems to be working. Uh, and the range is all the way out at 100 uh, kilometers. And it says 100 in my uh, window here, which is insane. Uh, my command bursts go out to 90 kilometers. So this is already really far. And a fun note is I actually don't have the skill train very high. Uh, it's actually in uh, fleet support for the uh, fleet compression. I'm going to go ahead and, and apply a level to this. Where's it at? Fleet compressor, apply skill points. Let's see how much it adds. Uh, two, six, three, four, three. Uh, one level is going to add eight more kilometers uh, on the large. Uh, on the large, I'm not sure about the little. Um, but that's pretty nifty. Uh, that adds eight plumber. So I think 10% uh, more of eight is 80. Uh, so yeah, so the base was 80. That's awesome. That that the range for that's fantastic. I I just want to say that that's awesome. Uh, I like it. I still think that a hauler might be necessary, uh, but a obelisk is definitely not necessary anymore. The fact that it can be done in space is really nice. Uh, the orca doesn't have to constantly go back. Uh, or a hauler doesn't constantly need to be going. And if you are alone in your ship and you're in a mining op, you don't have to sit next to the orca all the time. You can be away from it. Uh, this gives a uh, a Hulk a theoretical uh, max cargo capacity of around 60,000 because you pull in around 5,000 M3 a cycle. Uh, so if you complete a whole cycle um, and you have less than 60 or less than 6,000 M3 free in your space, uh, it, it will not mine the whole thing. So if you have like 6,000 M3 of compressed ore, you can still pull on a full cycle so you're still fully functional. But that's 60,000 M3 compared to the 10. That's like, that's Mackinac levels of storage. And like, don't even get me started on a Mackinac. I don't have like 48. It's like 480,000. That is as much storage as a as an obelisk. We could make our hauler ship a Mackinac pilot and it can haul back and forth and then mine it in and then mine in the interim, uh, which is kind of crazy. Uh, also, you can just use a regular hauling ship to haul back and forth. But that insane amount of storage is nuts uh, for being infilled. Uh, it, looked, it sounds like rocks are at the same ratio as well, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, I do have to say that is fantastic. I like it. Hopefully you guys enjoy this short little video uh, kind of showing how compression works. It it just works. You right click, you compress the thing, all the ships, apparently all the ships in the fleet can do it. And uh, I believe rocks compress one to, one to 100. All rocks compress one to 100. I'm not sure about Mercoxit. Coxit might be an exception. Uh, but I know uh, Moonor, Abyssor, and rocks compress. Actually, they didn't say if Rockavine compresses. I'm not sure if it counts as a standard rock or Moonor. I don't know the answer to that. If somebody mines Rakabine and uh, Abyssal Ore and knows the answer to this question, please chime off in the comments and I will I will give you a little heart and a pin and you'll be at the top. Um, but I, I thoroughly like this feature. Uh, I'm going to be using it a lot and it's going to make mining a lot better. I believe the Orca will be able to fit two or three belts and then it'll have to be emptied out. Uh, which will make the uh, the function of, of the hauler a lot easier. And then if the hauler is on field, it'll 
it'll hold everything um, because 500 times 100 is 50 million. I think that is that is more than is in this system. Uh, so the hauler can hold a lot. Um, I wouldn't want to fill the hauler up with compressed ore on a single mining hop. Uh, that's for sure. Um, but that's 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 pretty. It's pretty significant, and I think that that is a huge quality of life improvement for miners, um, and it will make mining life a lot easier. Uh, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and dock up. Uh, make sure you guys fly fun, continue bringing each other up, and I will see you guys in the next one. Oh, make sure you like and comment below. Let me know what you think of this video.